All right, so this is a presentation on present tense conjugations. This is one of your Spanish teachers. I'm Senora Benson, and tonight I'm just kind of reviewing the heart of conjugation, and a lot of you second-year students have hopefully mastered it by this point, but um, it's really important to understand why we conjugate, and if you get this concept, it's a lot easier to build on the preterite and the imperfect, which is stuff we get into in second year. Um, so hopefully this helps you. I'm just gonna kind of go through um, the basics of it. So first off, I have a little video that you can watch if you click on it or copy and paste. It's about three minutes, but it will, it's a little bit goofy, but they do a really good job explaining um, conjugations and how it looks. So watch it, email me, or send me a chat message if you see it. I want to know what you think. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First off, um, in Spanish, every single verb will end in an AR, IR, or ER. And these are called infinitives. So we start dealing with them from the very beginning, like hablar is to talk, or comer, to eat, cantar, to sing. So in English, all of these verbs translate as to do something. So for example, correr, correr means to run, comer, to eat, and hablar is to talk. And notice it ends in er, er, and ar. Um, so we've also learned the subject pronouns. And I'm just going to exit out of full screen so I can type in. Again, this is just a little review. Um, but I in Spanish is yo. You in Spanish is tú. He in Spanish is él. She, ella, they, ellos or ellas. We is nosotros or nosotras. And you all is ustedes, ustedes. And lots of times you'll see it like this, it's the same thing. Um, all right, so let's go to our next slide. Um, so, unlike English, you can't just put the word I or he in front of the verb. A lot of students want to do that because that's how we speak English. So, in English, I say, or we say, I talk. But in Spanish, you can't just say, yo hablar. Um, why? If you said, yo hablar, remember that anything that ends in AR means to. So yo hablar literally means I to talk. So that's a common error I see students making in Spanish one and two is they forget to conjugate. And it's common because in English we do it a little bit differently. But in Spanish, you have to switch the ending. So let's look at the steps. So step one is you just remove the AR, IR, and ER ending. So one of my personal verbs is comer, which means to eat. It's one of my favorites, so I like to use it for an example. So notice in step one, I removed the ER, which just leaves me with com. Then you're going to replace it with the correct ending using this little cheat sheet. So this should be in your lessons, but I could email it to you um, as well if you like it. When I was learning Spanish, I always had these ending cheat sheets handy. Um, so if I wanted to say I eat, I find the word I in Spanish and find out what the new ending is going to be. So what would I eat be? Think about it for a second. I eat. I eat would be yo como. You'd add that to the new ending. What about we eat? So if you wanted to say we eat, again, you look at this little cheat sheet, you find we. It's an ER, IR verb, so you would plug in hemos, comemos. Remember, you can't say nosotros comer because that means we to eat. All right, so I wanted you guys to give it a try. I put the little cheat sheet up here. So again, 
Yo is yo ends in O. Tu es el, ella, usted, e. Nosotros hemos, ellos, ellas, ustedes, en. So to help you in case you couldn't remember what the original verbs were, um, to run is correr, to eat is comer, and run, to run again, correr. So using this little chart above, see if you can come up with the conjugations. Um, Rachel, I know you're in here. I don't know if you have a Spanish background, but you try it too, and I'll check the chat messages. So I'll give you guys about one minute. See if you can conjugate these three verbs. All right, so let's go ahead and go over these together. So the first one, he runs. So again, he in Spanish is el. Step one, remove the ER verb. So I'm just gonna go down to the next line. Let's see if it'll let me. I'll just type it next to it. So he runs would be el corre. And then we eat, so we have the verb comer. We remove the ER ending and replace it with the nosotros. So we have nosotros comemos. And then last one, they run, remove the ER, Look up for the word they, so our ending's gonna be en. Ellos corren. All right. So next off, again, this is a great thing to maybe take a picture of, but it's kind of a little cheat sheet. So we know in Spanish there's a lot of irregular verbs that don't follow these rules, but this is just the general conjugation. Um, so we have the AR verbs, ER verbs, and IR verbs. And again, you just kind of cross-reference it. So for example, the verb escribir is an IR to write. So if I wanted to say I write, yo escribo. Or they write, ellos escriben. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, so I'm just gonna leave it. It's this really goofy song, and it goes in this order, but it's this, this guy that has this whole website um, to help students learn Spanish, but it's him, like, chanting the endings, but it helps it get stuck in your head, so although it's slightly obnoxious on your final, you will be like, thank you, Senor Benson, for making me listen to this. Again, if you guys watch this video, send me a message. Let me know you listen to it. It'll make my day. Um, so... Now, I was just going to set aside a little bit of time for questions. Um, you can ask me any questions about present tense conjugation or any other topic um, about the Spanish class or assignment you may be struggling with. So I'll, um, we don't have a very full classroom right now, but I will wait a minute to just see if anyone wants to send me a chat message or you can unmute yourself and ask me directly and I will help you, and then um, we'll move on with something that can kind of help you review.
All right, doesn't look like we have any questions, but if anything comes up, feel free to send me a message or like I said, unmute yourself. Um, all right, so the next thing I was gonna do, we don't have enough in the crowd. This is a really fun game called Kahoot that I like to play in the high school that I teach in as well. And I was gonna do a little contest for some bonus points, but I'll have to maybe bump this to our next live session and um, see if we can get a few more participants. So we'll skip that. And the last thing I had tonight then was, um, this is a really good link. It's called Spaleo, and if you click on this directly, um, I'll show you what it looks like, but it's kind of like a boot camp for what we just went over. Um, so if you click on it, let's see if it'll let me do it directly from here. I think it will. Maybe, maybe not. Um, you might have to copy and paste it too, but it, it will give you a whole bunch of different verbs um, and you type in the answers and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. And then if you get stuck, you can um, go back or you can ask if it's correct. Let's see, maybe I'll just try to copy it. Didn't want to work with for me clicking on it. Let's see. Copy it. And we'll open a new window so you can see what it looks like. Hold that thought. Okay, so take seat of this page and I'll blow it up a little bit. Okay, so even if you don't know, lots of times the students I work with are like, well, I don't even know what bilateral means. Well, I said it where these are only verbs that follow the rules that I gave you. So even if you know what it means, you remember the steps that we went over. So remove the AR, pull out that little cheat sheet if you need it, and then you type in what it would be for the yo form. So I dance would be yo, I, lo. And then I say, correct, hit it. And then it says, you are so right. Good job. And then I say, okay, then it gives me a new one. So I'm gonna get this one wrong just to show you what it does. So I'm gonna treat it like it's an ER verb, escuchen. Um, correct, sorry, that's wrong. So then I can try it again. Or I can, if I keep trying, I can't think, I cannot figure it out. If I hit solution, then it tells me the right one and then I can go to the next. Also, um, a lot of people have str struggles or issues putting accents, but if you ever do this with past tense verbs, um, you, can, you can use this. Oh, I have a chat, let's see. Oh, thank you, Rachel. <laughs> Okay, cool. So anyways, this is something I like to direct students to that are struggling a little bit, but tonight or once you get this video, if you're watching it, I highly recommend just take five minutes and try to do it without the sheet or use the sheet with you because um, I always like to remind my students you're totally allowed a page of notes on the final. So if you struggle a little bit with memory, if, as long as you know this concept, you can have that little cheat sheet with you. So um, that ends present tense conjugation. Again, please message me or email me or send me a message on my text with remind. I sent that out a while ago. If you need to get a hold of me right away, but um, I want to help you guys with this. I know conjugation can be a little bit tough, and um, so feel free to reach out, and hopefully I'll see more of you guys next, next month. All right, have a good night. Buenas noches.